Hello everybody, welcome back to Herbie's Garage. Today I'm working on my 2023 Life and KPM 200. I just finished doing a valve adjustment video on this, so now, while I've got the plastics off, a little bit easier access, I'm going to go ahead and change the exhaust. So, come along with me and let's do this. I know everybody that the last exhaust I did, people were saying, why didn't you start it up? I wanted to hear what the stock exhaust sounded like. Well, I'm not good video editor. I'm sorry about that. You guys that watch my channel, but uh, I can't do back to back and all that. Maybe someday. So this is going to be uh, the stock exhaust sound. Okay, <laughs> there you go. That's a stock exhaust sound. So let's get started taking it off. Well, the very first thing I need to do is I need to take out this uh, oxygen sensor. Uh, for whatever reason, this wire got put behind this uh, water hose, so I don't like that. So I'm going to change that, and if yours is like that and you want to change it, I just want to show you, hopefully you can see that, that... In order to unplug this, there's a red end to it. You pull the red part out like that, and then your plug will come out. You don't push this or anything like that. You pull that red tab out, and then this will come out. Now I'm going to see if I can get this out from behind here. There we go. Now I'll just... Uh, zip tie it up here or whatever i just don't like it around that okay so now we're going to take this oxygen sensor out it's a 17 millimeter you could leave your wire hooked up and you probably have enough uh, wire that you can kind of just turn this and not damage it but i wouldn't take the chance personally it's not that hard to take it out. Just go ahead and take your wire out so you don't get it all twisted up. And then we're going to take these two 10 millimeter bolts out up here at the head. Or they're not actually bolts, they're nuts. Now I got my exhaust a little hot. <laughs> it's not bad, but it's got a little heat to it. There we go. Now this one should be loose. These are called cap nuts because they do not have an opening on the end. They're capped. So if your stud is too long and bottomed out, it won't crush the way it's supposed to. So you have to check that before you put your new exhaust on. And it looks like the only other thing holding it is this bolt in the back. And this is a 13 on one side and a 15 on the nut. And be careful, don't just let it fall. You gotta take your washer and your nut off. Now, before you take your bolt out, you wanna grab a hold of your exhaust, then take your bolt out, and then slide the front of it out. Like that. There's the stock exhaust. Now we need to compare now we need to compare the thickness of these two of where the flange mounts. And as you can see Hopefully you can see that. This one's thicker than this one. Here, let me get these collars out of the way. See the difference? So I'm going to have to shim it up, the difference between this and this. So I'm going to be using washers behind this in order to make them uh, cap nuts go down far enough to tighten this down. 
So I'll be putting washers on this one. The hole, the opening, they look pretty similar coming out. The opening of the hole, they look similar coming out of the head. But this does get bigger as it goes down. This one really doesn't. So let's get rid of the old. Okay, now we'll start this head pipe in here. Make sure everything lines up, and it does. And I determined that I'm going to need about three washers on here. So we'll put the three washers on it. Okay, I've got three washers on each one. I'm just going to loosely snug this so I could still move it. Just going to do it by hand without a ratchet. There we go. As you can see, this bunk or the oxygen sensor is in a different location. It's not going to hurt anything. It, instead of being like this, it's going to be like this now. No big deal. Okay, now this might be an issue. I don't know. I'm going to take this clamp. I'm going to turn it around the other way so I can get to the bolt on it. Boy, it'd be nice if it'd bolt right to that. I don't think it will. It's close. I don't know if I'm going to have a mounting point for that, but we'll see. Okay, let's go ahead and put the muffler on. Let's see what this looks like. Gonna peel off this blue tape off of this bracket. We don't want this melting. This stuff, if they put this on there, it needs to be a little thicker. Be real careful with it when you pull it off. Okay, got a little piece there. There we go. Then you want to take your rubber and you want to run it on the inside all the way around. And this is going to take a minute, so let me do it. And this is going to take a minute, let me do it off camera. And once you get it put on, that's the way it's supposed to look. And then you put it on like this and you can mount it to one side or another. I can put it to the outside like this or I could put it to the inside. I can't so. Okay now that I've got that mounted let's put our bracket and we'll use the stock original bolt that came with the bike and then we'll put a washer and a nut okay we'll tighten it down all right that's good and solid Then we'll put our springs on. They were so kind to include a 
spring puller, they included that with the pipes, I'm pretty sure. There we go. There's the top one. There we go. Okay, then let's go ahead and tighten these head bolt nuts. Gotta make sure it squishes in there real nice. It squishes that exhaust gasket. I know some would probably say you need to replace that exhaust gasket. Well, this thing's only got 165 miles on it. It's only been squished once. And with my experience that I've done this before, I've never had an issue. Keep going back and forth like this until it feels like it stops. Don't force it too much. Just make sure it's good and tight. These do have a tendency sometimes to work their way loose. Okay, then down here at the bottom, We'll loosen our clamp a little bit and then we'll bring it over and then we'll tighten it down. You know what? There's enough room underneath here. I think I'm gonna turn that like this to where that's up top. And I'm gonna tighten it on the other side. There we go. Okay, then we'll take our oxygen sensor and we'll wipe it off a little bit. And then we'll screw it back in. You gotta love whenever things just go together so smoothly. And tighten that down good. And then reach underneath here, put the plug in. Now you'll see this red part sticking out just a little bit. You gotta push it in just a little bit in order for that, not all the way. You gotta push that red thing in about halfway for this plug to go in. There we go. You gotta work that a little bit. You gotta pull this uh, red thing out and then push it in just a little bit and then push the plug in and then push the red thing in at the same time. You'll feel it. Okay, I'm okay with that just hanging down there. I don't think that's going to be a problem. If it is, I'll just zip tie it. Okay, then this wire, I think I'm just going to zip tie this up out of the way. It's not going to hurt anything. Make a nice, neat install. The only issue with this exhaust is this bracket doesn't match up with anything. I'm going to have to probably make a bracket to go from here to here.
Okay, let's see what it sounds like with the new exhaust on it. Just give it a minute for the computer to get all the readings because this has changed a little bit. This exhaust is definitely freer flowing than what the stock exhaust was. Sounds good, doesn't it? Sounds like my KPR now. <laughs> I like it. Okay, we're done. Oh, I know, I know. You sick guys want to hear it without the uh, baffle in it. Let me take it out. There's the baffle silencer slash whatever it is. Okay, here we go. Oh my. It's got a little rumble to it, that's for darn sure. But old Herbie here, we're going with the baffle in it. And if you see this uh, burning off, don't it's not your engine being messed up or nothing. It's a little bit of oil that's inside of this that they oil it up so it doesn't rust or anything. So it's going to take a little bit to burn that off. It's nothing to be alarmed about. Okay, I got the baffle back in. Let's hear it one more time the way it's going to be. Because this is the way I'm going to ride it. And I have noticed before when I put a performance exhaust on, how it kind of smoked a little when I revved it up. And I've seen that on video. That kind of concerned me too until I noticed that it has a little bit of oil on the inside. It takes a little bit to burn that off and that goes away. So you can see it on this one too. That sounds really good. I like it. Okay, like I say, I'm going to work on a bracket for that. And I'm going to put all the plastics back on. And then I'm going to go for a ride because it's a nice day today. So. It's a little bit chilly. It's only 6.48 in the morning and I've already adjusted the valves and put a performance exhaust on. So I'll be ready for breakfast here shortly after I get it all together and I'll be ready to hit the road. All right, that's all I got for you today. Appreciate you guys watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next one.